we have a fascinating story about June 1st. Let's go back about seven to 10 days. You got that dreaded text or phone call that I think all promoters oh. hate to hear that Jarrell Big Baby Miller had popped <clears throat> not once, not twice, but three times for PEDs. What was your initial reaction? And I sense that it wasn't just disappointment. There's a little bit of anger on your end. Yeah. Well, the first one, I mean, they came in three stages. Yeah. So the first one was, you're quite right, I think it was like 10 o'clock at night. Um, <clears throat> I was just putting the, my kids down to sleep, and I got a phone call. And it's like, Eddie, are you on your own? I'm like, this isn't, and it's like, yeah. That's never so, good. Yeah, no, it's yeah. like, oh, no. <laughs> Jarrell Miller's failed a VADA test. I'm like, and I was like, kids. I need 10 minutes. <laughs> like, <laughs> went into another room, just shut myself in. I was like, okay, learned about it. They said it's this um, advanced supplement that they've, uh, or, or uh, substance that they've seen. They're not really seen a lot of. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he can ask for a B sample, but, you know, it's not good. And yeah. now we've got to speak to the commission. I'm like, so, you know, the first thing is, okay, he's more or less out of the fight. So we've got to deal with this. Then we've got to deal with it breaking because, you know, yeah. they send it out. And everyone's like, let's keep this confidential. And it's only a matter of time, especially in boxing, right. where this is all over the internet. Actually, mm -hmm. Dan Raphael broke it. He was the first guy like an hour later. So then it was just dealing with the aftermath. Spoke to Anthony Joshua. He actually wasn't that surprised. He was like, mm -hmm. wow, you're joking. Okay, mm -hmm. who are we going to fight? And I was like, well, who do you want to fight? He said, I honestly don't mind. Like, whoever wants it, you know, we can fight. But then from there, obviously, I had to let his promotional company know, Jarrell Miller's guys. And then... He came on to me, Jarrell Miller, and just said, look, this is BS. I've not taken anything. I swear to you. Like, this is a joke. It's sabotage. You believe blah, him? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I always, I want to, like, I like Jarrell Miller. You know, and, and when you work with a fighter, you become, you know, I've worked with him for five or six fights. Like, mm -hmm. I've got him in a position to give him this life-changing opportunity. So I want to believe him. Doesn't change the fact that the fight's probably off. But, you know, he does that. Then he issues his statement. You know, yeah. just want to say, I've never taken anything. This is unbelievable. I will clear my name, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, we request the B sample. But he had four VADA tests. The first one he passed. Then he had three more to come. So the second one he's failed. Mm -hmm. And in the next couple of days, we'll get the results of two and three or three and four. And a couple of days passes. Bang. VADA email again. Mm. The next test, he's tested positive for HGH. Which that's another level. Yeah, I mean, that's you're right. talking about sticking needles in yourself, yeah. you know. And and then we're like, I can't believe it. That cheating, bleep bleep. And then you know, then I was disgusted. And then two days later, the third one came in for EPO, which is so. This is probably one of the most advanced mm. drug mm. testing scandals I think boxing has ever seen. But I was really disgusted with him. One because, you know, when you come out and you issue statements like that, and you tell me that you know my kid's life and blah blah blah, like. You want to believe them. And I do think that sometimes fighters fail tests where they're given something from an S&C coach or yeah. maybe there's something in a supplement Tainted they didn't supplement. know about sure, or something sure. like that. This was down and out, cold-blooded cheating. And what disgusted me more than anything was it's coward cowardly because this is the fight game where people have lost their lives. People can get damaged for life. Right, you're not, not hit, hitting balls it's here. Not, this is not, right. not a game of tennis. This is right. not a downhill ski slalom. The aim of boxing is to go in and damage your opponent, whether you like it or not. It's the sweet science, I know. No, but no, that's, no, that's the, the objective. Cold, yeah, do you of think you should be banned for life? Yes, I do. And mm. I, I don't really say that, wow. but I'm, like, at the moment. And I like, I like to think that I've got forgiveness in my heart. Like, it's, yeah. it's a bit like when someone commits a crime and goes to prison. At what stage do you ever forgive them in life? Maybe it's subject to the crime. Mm. But as Anthony Joshua is a very close friend of mine, he was taking that stuff to do physical damage to him. That's the right. difference, that, that, it's yeah. an, that's, as opposed that, to any other it. sport, because you're right, it's a fight. It is, and like he, so what, he didn't believe that he had enough within himself to do that on an even playing field, so he was trying to get a physical edge. Now, what would have happened, now when we signed this fight, every AJ fight we do has extreme VADA testing, right? It's the only way to catch cheats, simple. So, when we signed him up, I had to chase the paperwork pretty hard, and mm. now I probably know why. Mm. And like it took me probably ten days or two weeks longer than I would have liked, but we got it done in the end. It would have been so easy for me <clears> just to leave it, you know, and say, "Look, it's Jarrell Miller. I think AJ's going to beat him anyway." What would have happened in that night? AJ has got no quit in him, right? So after eight or nine rounds, right. he's gassed out. He's thrown the kitchen sink. Miller's still coming. He wouldn't lay down. AJ, he'd fight to the very, very end. 
you know, he could have. I mean, I know it sounds could, extreme. He could, could have lost his life. Of course, it, of course, extremely you know, detrimental. And then what would have happened? The sport would exactly. be over. You know, I would never be able to forgive myself. And you know, I was almost joking. Like AJ said to me yesterday, he goes, God, like that would have been a war. He goes, I would have like been just throwing the kitchen sink at him, and with that much stuff in him, yeah, like potentially he might have just soaked it all up and just kept on coming. And you know, it, and I was like, I was so looking forward to that fight I too. I was so I excited for the fight, and it's not a team sport. It's not a next man up. That's it. And the whole event's yeah. off. And the only pleasing thing about the whole scenario is we caught him. So all right. this VADA testing that we do has been worthwhile because we've, and not just about losing or getting injured in the fight or something worse, but everything that he's worked towards in his whole life, as in the titles, the Unified Heavyweight World Championship, could get taken away from him by a cheat, right. by someone that doesn't deserve it. If and you Mario, get beat by all, all square, all, all fair. We talked so about chasing it. the paperwork uh, last year. WBC, I think, dropped Drell mm. Miller from the rankings because he didn't sign up for the VADA year-round mm. testing program. Mm. That right there was a red flag yeah. to a lot of people. With that said, you've had a good relationship with Jarrell Miller. I believe you've done his last three, four fights yeah, on HBO well, yeah. and The Zone. Mm -hmm. Is your relationship effectively over with Miller in your view? Again, it's like it's probably too raw to say, but right now I really don't want to talk to him. I mean, he sent me a long message last night saying, I've watched all your interviews and, you know, I hold my hands up, but there's a lot of things about Varda testing that I will come, you know, and it's like, no. like that they caught him? Yeah, but like, I, 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 would, I, I, I would rather, I would rather, I would rather he came out and said, you know what? I wanted to win this fight so bad. Exactly. I cheated. And people talk me, because I do believe people would have said, this is fine, or do this, or yeah. that's generally what happened. But just come out and be honest and say, I shouldn't have done it. It was cowardly. Like, I knew it was a tough fight. I really wanted to win. Wanted knew, an edge, whatever. Yeah, and, and, you know, I did. But it's not like, if he would have failed for the first substance, there could have been a, a, a conversation. But EPO and HGH, it's like Ooh. you were on everything mm. to try and win this fight. Right. You know, and how scared must you have been of Anthony Joshua? You banged your hands at the press conference. I'm going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to kill you. That's what you told him. Yeah. You know, you abused his mum, his family. And now you've done this. He also I mean, accused like, Anthony Joshua. Of taking pets. Yeah, that was right. the best thing. Right. right. So yeah, that's, 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 that's a certain irony yeah. there. So.